Hey Aries, how is it going? How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing fantastic. If this is your first time checking out True Divine's channel, what is up? I am Amy. If you're returning, welcome back. So this is your March monthly message. So hopefully you guys are doing well. So two oracle cards are coming up to start off your reading. First one talks about attachment. With the attachment, you finally feel whole inside with or without the fulfillment of a particular desire. Ironically, that's often where it's fulfilled. So what's happening? Okay, so I feel like for March, you guys are going to come into a sense of feeling detached from people. You're going to feel a sense of um, wanting to reach out or hoping that people reach out to you. I feel on some levels, the beginning of March might be a little tough for you guys, but I feel like as you work through what you need to work through, you're going to come into alignment with what it is that you want, where it is you're going, um, what, it, what it is that you feel detached from. I feel like it's going to work itself out. You might be getting more communication. Um, you could be, again, just, I mean, COVID, you know, you guys could just be feeling... COVID, you could be feeling the sense of being detached from your family, not being able to see your grandkids, your children, you know, not being able to make those memories you've had in the past. So depression, anxiety could be coming up or, you know, you could be dealing with that lately. So just know that allowing is coming up as well. And it says radical acceptance, say yes to reality and every given moment. So what's needed can come next. So it's understanding that even though we don't understand why COVID happened, we are understanding that we need to be taking this time for ourselves. We need to allow the universe, God, to do what they're doing um, and not get so worked up in the small stuff, okay? Especially in the month of March, I feel like there's a lot of stuff that Aries needs to be handling. And the last thing that you don't need to be worrying about is how God and the universe are going to handle things that are way beyond your control, okay? So in regards to your tarot cards, we have... Four of Pentacles coming up first. Four of Pentacles talks about you really holding on to emotion. So I feel like for you guys, it's, you know, being in a place where you're holding on to something in spirit says, because you're holding on to this, you're adding unwanted burdens inside of you. So this could be unwanted feelings. This could be unwanted thoughts. This could be not really truly expressing what it is you feel, Aries. And I feel like it just comes down to what it is that you need in your life, where do you see your life going, who do you see your life surrounded by, and really needing to unleash that emotion, really needing to, if it's not telling the person that needs to be told, maybe journaling this month, maybe really reflecting, um, but getting it, getting it out of your system. So maybe do some chakra healing, maybe some meditation, keep yourself grounded, keep yourself moving forward. You know, six of wands comes through and that tells me that some of you could be following in the path of others and your spirit guides are saying this month we need you Aries to follow your own path follow your own truth follow your own be a leader not a follower this month because I feel like some of you know where you want to go you, you know what you wanted out of life but you're so afraid of how other people are going to react to that that you choose not to follow your dreams or go after the things that you really want because you don't know how other people are going to react to it and your spirit guides are saying you know, especially this month, you really need to check in with yourself. You really need to, you know, have that communication with yourself, have that communication with someone that you trust to say, you know, I need help. I don't know what my next moves are. I know what my next moves are in a way, but I'm afraid to start or I'm afraid to move forward. And it's just about reaching out to the people that you know who are going to help you this month. Um, some of you could be winning on some type of offer or commitment this month. So I definitely feel like it's coming in. But as you progress through the month, we have the two of wands. So the two of wands tells me some of you are at a crossroad right now. So it's about making the right decisions for you, making the right choices for you. Um, really understanding where you guys are right now, really understanding where you want to go. Um, making the right choice for you, making the right decision for you. Um, it. Each, any pathway that you choose is always going to come with an obstacle and challenge. But I feel like if you're following your true path and if you love what you do, it will shine through and you will become a much happier person than if you follow the idea of someone else. Okay. So when you come into contact with these decisions and choices that you guys need to make, it's about reflecting on what it is that Aries needs this month and not what everyone else needs. Because 
the Knight of Wands says it's time. It's time to take that first step and start moving forward. And when you do, you will get the commitments and the the family and, you know, the connections that you truly desire. So this could be business related. This could be job related. This could be something that you've been really wanting in your life. But again, if you follow what everyone else wants, you aren't leading your own life. You are leading the life of other people. So I really feel like your message is just about detaching what is not serving you this month really moving forward into what's next for you, really having that communication with yourself to understand, you know, what your needs or wants are in this frame of your life in this journey, you know, really taking this crossroad to take a second and, and step back and, and choose the direction that's right for you and not other people. Again, be a leader this month, not a follower. You know, I feel like it's, it's your month to go big. You know, I feel like put yourself out there, do something that's going to really, motivate you or, you know, just uplift you. I, I feel like you can do anything you set your mind to and it's you that are standing in your own way. All right. So with that, you guys have worry is a waste in emotion. Your body responds to the energy that you send out. It reacts to every thought as though it were real. When you create a thought of worry, it tells the body that it needs to defend itself against something foreign. And this interrupts its normal balance and harmony. Worry creates toxicity in the body and depresses the energetic flow that can create disease or imbalance. Anytime or any place this card appears in your spread, you must step back and look at your life objectively. Ask yourself, how worry ever changed the outcome of a situation? There's no question that the emotion worry is real. It does have energy, but it has no power to alter the results. The only power it has is to affect you. The tendency to worry is definitely a learned trait. Although it may also feel like a genetic component, your guides urge you to see this energy for what it is, a waste of time and trouble. Do not give it, do not give into it. Instead, take steps to remove the possibility of its energy coming into your life in the first place. All right? So, some of you, <coughs> excuse me, are going to be worried about something. And Spirit says, from their point of view, what you have coming towards you in the month of March, you don't need to worry because all is truly well. You know, you are being guided, you are being directed, and you're being put into the places, things, and people that need to help you get to the next level. But it, worrying about how everything is going to unfold is only going to keep you stuck. So do not worry about a thing this month. Just keep moving forward. Keep making the right choices for you and continue to stay positive as you move through the month. All right, guys. So I'm sending you all love and light and I'll see you in April.